fun little pause for breath there. Um, we've logged in for the first time. Here's our virtual machine. Uh, we're ready to rock and roll here. We have configured and installed, sorry, we've not configured, we've installed VYOS. It's a vanilla VYOS. We have a VYOS user. So this is how you may well receive your first uh, Viata on software. Uh, equally for us, it's our first Viata in uh, VirtualBox. So the first thing you probably want to do is everybody knows that Vios Vios is, you know, or anyone certainly related to the IT industry who remotely uses anything like uh, Viata or VYOS uh, will know that Vios Vios is standard username and password for the root user. Equally, if you have a Viata, it's Viata Viata, um, a standard username and password. So that's probably quite an insecure user to leave. So the first thing you probably want to do is actually have users uh, on this system. So you want to create a user. So to do that, you go into configure. Whoops, I'm so sorry. Configure. And you want to use set system um, login. If at any stage you want to know what your choices are, you can do a space and then a question mark. And it will show you. So we know that after login comes user. Um, set system login user and we want to create an actual user of the system. So what choices do you have on in terms of username? Well, you probably work quite closely with the security department who will set out uh, standards for usernames and passwords. Uh, I like to do things like description of what the machine is. So VY would be okay. Um, it is router number one because it's our first router and RT for root user. We then want to give it some authentication. Tab also will auto complete the line on uh, a Viata. Uh, it will be plain text password. If you want to know what your options are here, hit the question mark, you can have an encrypted password, a plain text password, or public keys. For us, we're gonna use plain text password, and I'm just gonna make it general at the moment. So we're now creating a new user called VYR1RT. That's fine. We now wanna say, well, what level is that user? Um, Set system login user VY R1 RT and their level is going to be admin. Hit return and the next thing you want to do is delete the from the system the login user VY OS. Now we haven't, we've made all those changes, but we haven't actually committed those changes yet. Um, this is like um, on, a, uh, on iOS, on a Cisco router, where you need to um, copy the running to the configuration. Um, what we need to do is commit those changes. That's committed them, and then we want to save them to the actual configuration. Do a save. Now when we exit, we can still log in as VYOS, which we don't want. So if we whoops, power off the machine to use to the Unixes, power off the machine and bring up our virtual box tutorial 13 and restart that machine. I'm hoping that our delete has now been effective as well as our add. If it hasn't, we've got some work to do. Okay, BYOS be my OS. That's what we wanted to see. You cannot log in as VYOS anymore. VYR1RT 
we're in. Now if I do a show configuration, we can have a look at the configuration file. We can see we have an ETH0 and an ETH1. And if we just use the return, the host name is VYOS. And there is a user, VYOS, and a user, VYRT. But as we've seen, you can no longer log in as VYOS. And indeed, you can also see from that, its level, even if you could log in, is no longer admin. So, we've achieved what we wanted to achieve. We have a non-default user login. The next thing you probably want to do is, uh, is, is change this, you know, this um, host name and add a domain name. So, to do that, we want to go into configure again. And we want to basically say, you know, set the system host name. So, set system host host name and what do we want to call this machine well let's let's call it router one again you may well working with your security department have specifics uh, around what you can call host names uh, that may also be a network function but for the purpose of this you can make that whatever you want and for this I'm going to call it router one uh, we want to add a domain name now so um, we want to say set system domain and you can see here you got domain search domain name we want to do domain name um, as I've done with lots of other occasions I'm going to call it satisfy.com and now you need to commit that and save that so that is the domain name set up So following that, what have we got left to do? Well, we've got our interfaces to do. So let's do, whoops, from this command, if you want to run the, uh, you know, a command from non-configuration command, you can do run show uh, interfaces. And we can see we have an ETH0 and an ETH1, and neither of which is actually set up. So we want to set up those interfaces. So to set those interfaces up, we want to do set interfaces. They're Ethernet interfaces as opposed to serial. And we know that we have an ETH0. And we will give it an address. Now from this command, you can do DHCP, because we did set up DHCP on VBox. But we don't want to do that, because that would be within the range that we had. So I said earlier when we did the VBox Net Zero and VBox Net One, I like to keep my interfaces um, in, uh, sorry, my router interfaces as address one on the network. That way I know what they will be. So we know that ETH Zero is on the 172.16.0 network and it will be one and I will give it a subnet mask of 16 bits. So that's that interface set up. We can up arrow and go back here and say ETH1 address is 192.168.56.1 with a 24 mask. I can commit that. I can save that. And then, if I exit out of here and show you that show interfaces, there they are. Excellent. Now, can I ping any other addresses on the 172.16.02 uh, was the interface we had set up. And indeed, there it is. It was set up on VBoxNet 0. On VBoxNet 1, we had 192.168.56.2, and we can see that. So both our interfaces are now up and configured and working. So again, I'm going to pause for breath there. Um, I'm actually going to go and make sure, I tell you what, just before I do that, let's bring up a, a terminal window. 
and on my terminal I'm going to ping 172 so this is a terminal on my Mac um, dot 16 dot um, 0 dot 2 and we can see that and can I see the router I can so there you go um, both of those are now working if I do a 192 168 uh, 56.2 it's seeing that as well so from your host machine you can see those as well so like I said I'm going to pause for breath there and come back and we're going to configure um, SSH so that I can actually SSH in from my terminal here onto our uh, VBox router um, our Viata router running on VirtualBox.